Ken Molay here with a tip from the library. When your webinar ends, your responsibilities don't. There are several things you should have on your checklist for taking care of when the live session is over. Try to make your recording available as quickly as possible. People who attended a valuable event will often help you by recommending it to their colleagues, but they'll do that right away. You want them to have a playback link to share. If you plan to edit your recording and it won't be available for a while, create a placeholder page where the recording will go. Then give people the link immediately and let the page tell them to check back later for the edited recording. If you promised attendees something in the webinar, get those materials ready as quickly as possible. A handout document, a reference link, or a more complete answer to a question that was asked? You want to deliver on your promises as fast as you can. Most webinar platforms have a way to send out follow-up emails to everyone who registered. If it's convenient, send one email to attendees and a different email to no-shows. It feels more personal if you thank someone for attending and say you hope they got value from the session while creating a different message for others saying you're sorry they were unable to attend, but you wanted them to be able to benefit from the information that was shared by watching the recording. Again, get those emails out just as soon as you can. The next task is to carefully review the question log or chat log from your session. Look for high-priority comments or questions that need follow-up. If you're running a sales or marketing webinar, questions can often indicate someone who's ready for a serious sales contact. You want to act on that the same day, if possible, to benefit from the momentum that your webinar created, and so your contact is seen as a response to their question rather than a cold call interruption a week later. Get it to a representative right away. And run reports and start collecting data that you can use to track the effectiveness of your end-to-end -end webinar process. Which marketing sources led to the most registrations? What was the ratio of attendees to registrants? Did people drop out of the session early? How many questions did people type? What did survey results indicate about your topic, the technology you're using, and the presenters? You use this information to help refine your planning for future webinars. This cycle results in continuous improvement over time. And this might be a good opportunity to circle back and check my tips related to initial planning. Just click here. Or you can head back to the index page to pick another topic. Thanks for watching.